We're going to start with a good setup, all right? Ready, and down. And stand. Good. And down. And stand. Last one, guys. I want you to watch your hips. Ready, and down. And stand. Pretty solid squat, right? What's missing? What could we get a little bit more of? Depth. Yeah, depth, right? And now I look at her stance, right? And she has to really push her knees out really, really far to show me the squat that she's showing me. You guys notice that, right? So what I want to do, and I think that might actually be hindering her ability to get a little bit lower, right? So what I'm going to do is actually take out your stance maybe two inches. So instead of for here, let's go like there. Yeah, and let's try that and see. tell me if it's more comfortable. So I want you to still push your knees out, but fight for one inch lower. Ready, and squat. Does that look better? And stand, right? Show me one more, and I really want you to reach your hands up above your head. Ready, and squat, and stand. Oh, and fight, there you go, good job, good job. And relax for a second, right? So I, I did that to illustrate the point. Were those the last two squats, did they look better to your eye, right? And you may not, like, if I hadn't said anything, if I had turned around when I took her stance wider and then brought her back, you may not have noticed, but that's the impact that that small adjustment can have on the movement because of the way she's built, right? Like, remember I said in the beginning, hey, we're gonna start everybody here, right? And then as I watch you move, I may adjust your stance depending on how you move and how you're built. Her legs, she has a longer femur, right? So her stance is gonna need to be just a little bit wider to accommodate for the good positions of the bones. All right, so we took her stance a little bit wider. Did it feel more comfortable? Uh, it, didn't. it was still hard, right? <laughs> but it looked much better. I wanted right? to put my foot in, actually. Okay, cool. So she might have a, uh, more, more strength, but remember, we want to prioritize that range of motion below parallel because life is going to demand it, especially if she had to ever get up off the ground. All right, so we're going to train that. She may not be super comfortable here, but that's probably due to the fact that she's weaker below parallel. So what does that mean she needs to do more of? Squats. <laughs> squat below parallel, exactly. So let's do two more reps, I just wanna see. Ready, and squat, and stand. Let's go a little bit wider, an inch, one inch, just a little bit, right, a little bit more, right there, perfect, all right? I want you to work for that depth, reach those hands up. Ready, and squat, a little bit lower, right there, and stand, awesome. One more, just like that, ready, and squat, Reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up, reach up, and stand. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Good, awesome. Hey, you're working. That was awesome. Much better. And that's hard to do, right? It is. You know, when you say go down, I can feel it right here. When you say go down one more, go down. Yeah, one your more. back is working overtime to keep you upright. Because it's all right here. Yep. Hey, but you're getting stronger. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and the thing is, now she knows what it feels like to go to that depth. So now she'll know when she's not going to that depth. All right. Awesome. Good work. Good work.